Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas about subtraction word problems. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at this number chart. What do you notice about the numbers in yellow boxes? Did you notice the numbers in the yellow boxes are all double numbers? 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. Did you notice they go in order from having a 1 to 9 in the yellow boxes? What else did you notice in the number chart? What do you notice about the numbers in these yellow boxes? Did you notice they all have the number four in the ones place? Did you notice you add 10 to each number to get the next number in the yellow box? 4 and 10 makes 14. Then 14 and 10 makes 24. What else did you notice on the number chart? Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problem later. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, crayons, and 10 counters and then come back to me. I'll count to 100 by tens while you get your materials. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 1, 2, 3, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me read the story problem. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the girl on the bike. Maybe you notice the two people skateboarding. Maybe you notice the ice cream cone skateboarding. Picture in your mind what is happening while I read the story to you. Aaliyah and some friends went skateboarding in the park. What do we know so far? Aaliyah and some friends went skateboarding in the park. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Aaliyah and some friends went skateboarding in the park. Some of her friends went home. What new information did we find out? Some of her friends went home. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Aaliyah and nine friends went skateboarding in the park. Some of her friends went home. What new information did we find out? Aaliyah and nine friends went skateboarding in the park. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Aaliyah and nine friends went skateboarding in the park. Two of her friends went home. What new information did we find out? 
two of her friends went home. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Aaliyah and nine friends went skateboarding in the park. Two of her friends went home. How many friends were still skateboarding with Aaliyah in the park? We have a question. We get to figure out how many friends were still skateboarding with Aaliyah in the park. Let's read the story problem again. Aaliyah and nine friends were skateboarding in the park. Two of her friends went home. How many friends were still skateboarding with Aaliyah in the park? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you time to work on this problem now. Show me what you did. Everyone had some great answers. Let's take a look at some of the ways you solved the problem. Maybe you made nine tally marks for the nine friends skateboarding. Next, you crossed off two tally marks for the two friends that went home. Then you counted seven tally marks for the seven friends that were still skateboarding with Aaliyah. Maybe you counted nine straws for the nine skateboarding friends. Then you took two straws away for the two friends that went home. Next, you counted seven straws left, which means there are seven friends that are still skateboarding with Aaliyah. Maybe you used a one to 10 number track. You put your counter on the number nine because there were nine friends skateboarding with Aaliyah. Next, you move the, your counter two spaces backward for the two friends that went home. You landed on seven, which means there are seven friends still skateboarding with Aaliyah. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas. Try to make and solve story problems where you take objects away with your family today. Make sure to communicate how you solve the problems. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.